Hi there and welcome back to another tea review. Today we're going to be trying out this new tea called Wild Sweet Orange by Tazo. I think that's how you say it. It's a herbal tea. It's caffeine free and inside this box there's 20 little tea bags. At any time you're welcome to pause the video and read all the information on the package. Personally, I like trying out different teas, and my friends already know that, so they give me teas. I'm not sure where this tea was from, but I'm sure you can buy it online or in some stores. If there's a link on Amazon, I will link it below. Now just to wait for the water to finish boiling. Cracking into this tea box is a little bit difficult using one hand, but I got in. So let's open it up and we're going to be trying it out. This package says, thrill your taste buds with a juicy, tangy inf infusion of orange peel, lemongrass, citrus herb, and licorice root. Now the one thing you would think, because it is an orange tea, that it would be the first ingredient would say oranges or orange peel, right? But on the back, if you read the package, it said lemongrass, blackberry leaves, then citric acid, rose hip, spearmint leaves, turmeric for color, riboflavin for color, and then orange peel. Hmm. Okay. Then, of course, hibiscus flower, natural flavor, rose petals, and a natural orange essence, ginger root, licorice root, and that's about it. Anyways, that's what the back of the package said. So, I leave the tea steep for five minutes. Um, some people like to take the tea bag out. I like to leave it in while I'm drinking it, just so then I can make sure I get all those herbs into the water and drink them. So I get the full taste of flavor. Now, you can see the color of the water is changing as the herbs start letting go of all the good stuff. So I'm just guessing, but that more pinkishy color that you can see, I am guessing that is the blackberry leaves, or it could be the rose petals. Now, if you've watched my other tea reviews, I love honey in my tea. So you probably could drink yours with honey or not. Depends on how you like to drink it. Some drink with just sugar, plain, or some even put cream in it. Me, I leave the cream or milk to coffee. I used honey in my tea, just to give it a little bit sweeter taste. So I know I'm speaking ahead of time, but I did go ahead and try this tea. I actually didn't mind it. It did taste kind of orangish -y. Um, it was a very clean taste. It was sweeter, I think, because I put the honey in, but it's pretty good all around. So if you would like to try it out, check it out online, or you might be able to find it in stores. Again, if I could find it online for you, I will link it below. You can check it out there. So thanks for watching. If you wanted to see a few other tea reviews that I have done, I will leave them also linked in this video. If you have not yet subscribed, feel free to go click the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and also click the notification bell to be notified each and every time a new video is posted. I post many different things on this channel. If you'd like to check out more, just check out my playlist. And I want to give a shout out to the friend that gave me this tea. Thanks for the tea. You know who you are. 